Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Jar Productions, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to embed an external site that doesn't generate an embed code by using the N5 Web Content Interactive widget. Take a look at this example that includes both an embedded YouTube video and a website that shows a presentation. To embed the YouTube video, we would go to YouTube, click on the Share button, click on the Embed button, and then copy this code that it generates so that we could put the content into an iframe. But how do you embed a website that doesn't have a share button to generate the code for you? Like this website. Let's jump over to InDesign and I'll show you. First, if we wanted to add that YouTube video, we would go to Object, Insert HTML, and then we would paste the code here. Let's cancel out of this because we've already added this video. If we wanted to make any changes to this video, we could select it, right click, and select Edit HTML. And here you can see that code. So let's go ahead and cancel this. Because we don't have an embed code for the website, we can use the N5 Web Content Interactive widget. First, we need to draw a rectangle where we want the content to be embedded. So let's select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. With the rectangle selected, then we'll go to N5, Interactive Widgets, Web Content. The Web Content dialog opens up where we can add either a URL or a file. Because we're adding a website that's already published, we'll add a URL. So let's jump over to that website, and we'll copy the URL. We'll jump back over into InDesign and paste it here. And now we can save. And let's export by going to N5, export HTML5 with N5. We'll click OK. And let's take a look. And now we can see the website has been embedded and we can even interact with it. Now there is one caveat with embedding existing sites. Some websites don't allow their content to be embedded into an iframe. For example, let's take a look at what happens if we actually just embed this page where our video is. So I'm going to select the URL. I'm going to copy it. We'll go back over to InDesign and let's paste it in here. Let's export this. And let's take a look. So this is what it'll look like if a site is refusing to let you embed their content. If you'd like to see how to embed another N5 exported document that hasn't been published yet, so it's on your local machine, take a look at the video, How to Create a Sliding Carousel Using InDesign and N5. I hope this video helps you embed external sites in your N5 projects. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out N5 at n5.us, and if you like the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.